event handling from our source listeners. So it's going to be very similar to um, this guy, but um, slightly different. But that's neither here nor there. But let's get back into it. Um, we added the, the target and the pointer event. So let's do our test to, for good measure, make sure everything's in place correctly. What we need to do is we need to actually test out this find target better. I think, let's see here, we're at input, and this is display event. I actually don't even have a coverage number on that, which is weird. Hmm, okay, so let's hop to it. All right, we're going to close this down, close this down, and I can close down. And here we go. So we're back here, and we actually have this. So now, test should, what we need to do is we need to um, try and track down the correct node we're dealing with. So I should find first um, display with mouse enabled, but mouse children disabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a bunch of these. So what we can do, I think we might be able to do hmm. um, Two ways to look at this, I suppose. Um, I think we're just going to grab the first one, regardless. We can deal with that later, because I think this will be fine. So we're going to create a display. Put that, in, put that in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our child. Container equals create display. So what we need to do is, oops, this is the wrong, wrong thing here. So push our display, and this is mouse enabled mouse children. True. I think what we need to do is we need to have the mouse enabled and mouse children true regardless. And so and so that we explicitly shut it down. So everything's always mouse enabled, always everything's always mouse children. That way we can just set mouse children to false and that's our item that we're interested in. So um, ka 2D that thing is oops, ka sprite probably. So mouse children is always going to be true. And the two-dimensional display node, the mouse enabled is always true by default. Okay, so that was interesting. Oh, cool. Um, so that gets that gun. So now we're going to create our display. We're going to create display, which is true. True. 
and I'm going to push that. I'm going to do one more, and this one's going to be true false, and this one's going to be true true. Okay, so this is going to be one, two, three, child, zero. So now, child two should be the one that it finds. So we're going to run this. Exactly that. And we're going to say the target is going to be child two. And is irrelevant. Okay. Let's get a little code cleanup. So that fails as expected, and that's what we wanted. For some reason, it's not giving us a code coverage feedback, which is weird. So now, we're going to find target in our nodes, if mouse node and mouse enabled, and node mouse children we'll do that hmm that's what we ran into didn't we hmm <laughs> So, what could we do here? We need to look at if standard is node display node container and cast node as display node container dot mouse children is that Still failing is null of an expected equal value. So I'm still returned null. Hmm. Mouse children is disabled. It's true. Just getting these things. Hmm. Aha. Okay. Break there. So there we go. So now we need to do the same thing. Should return. First display that is mouse enabled and not container. So okay, find I guess is okay. Container. 
container. Now we're going to do now we're just gonna do this. And now we're gonna just create a node. So we're gonna say bitmap node. New mock mock bitmap node. Um, and that should be it. So now we're going to do this again. And it's going to be child 2. And that should fail. It should return null. But oh, in that case, we can. Should be null, is it null, is it null, is it null? It is null. Right, so you can say else if I don't want to do else. Suppose you can. We need to make sure that it's just a display node. And it's this. So we still have an error. First, it's this by that is. Hmm. hmm. So it looks like this will hit right here. And because the other one's a display node container, well, a display node container is also a display node that will actually turn true. So, what could we do? <laughs> so this one is just my node container. So we check to see if it is It is not a display node container. So that's changing a few things. Okay, so expected a bitmap node. Bitmap node. And I think what we need to do is we need to do this. We need to do child to get enabled return true. It's not enabled. Um, mouse enabled. Let us do that. It 
should. That's what's strange. Display node. Ah. Now it's enabled. Um, you know what it probably is. Let's go to lock pivot node. Yeah, it extends a two-dimensional display node, which will have get to mouse enabled. So there's our pass, and I don't know why it's not giving us display mouse event input, display mouse event input handler delegate test. I don't see why that won't give us any coverage. It's especially strange, but now. Let's continue on here. You know what it might be? Input. And we're input. No. Hmm. All right, let's continue on. So now we've got to finding the the nodes. We're just going to say should we turn no no the null one. Um, test should not fire pointer down if no uh, display sound. So we're going to do this. And we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to say zero. And then we're going to say if target is null. So there we go. So that's passing. Now, I think what we need to do is we need to do mouse moves and point her down. What we need to do is point her down. That's a that level. So I guess we're going to do the pointing input source listener. And we're going to do that when we actually track the events. I guess that'll be okay.
Yeah. So this just delegates down to make this less complicated over time. So we need to, so this is mouse down. We need to do mouse move, which is essentially the same thing. So it's the same test, just past the mouse move. And so I'll just do this one. Should fire my first display. Uh, let's see here. Should fire mouse move. Um, Mouse move. Should fire button mouse move. Okay, so that's good. So it's the same setup, but we need to do on pointer move. Mouse move. And so, too many arguments. Pointer move, pointer down. Okay, so on pointer move. But same too many arguments on 20 29. Mouse move is that. So there we go. And now it's essentially this same function. R F find target and fire event. This will be nodes list of display node. Oh, that's not correct. Mouse X int mouse Y int. So this is this, 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 and we're going to do um, event, which is going to be a pointer event void. Okay, and this is going to go to here, this is mouse down, and this is going to go to pointer event, pointer event. I'm going to call this, uh, oh, it's just event. There we go. So now we do inline. I'm gonna go, oh, no, we can't run that. And so we're gonna do find target and fire event nodes mouse x mouse y and that's going to be this. There we go. We do the same thing here on pointer move. Boom. That should do all of that. There we go. So now, should do the same thing for fire mass up. Okay, and this is going to be on pointer 
up. There we go. And it's going to be oops, going to be the same tall, but going to be on a pointer. So there we go. Now, definitely moving along here. So, test should fire pointer should fire click. What happened here? Should fire click. When mouse down and mouse up over the same target. And this is when we start getting into our tool that we did. Set pointer event. We did the same thing here. I'll we'll create a new one every time. This is failing on pointer up. Mouse up. It's going to be one. Okay, there we go. So we start passing there. And so this one here we actually do a thing here. Mouse down. Hmm, this is actually a pretty interesting implementation we got going on here. It's a pointer event, we got screen X and screen Y. This one actually keeps the same event, which is actually kind of good and actually kind of bad. So the upside is that it's not creating a new object every time. The downside is it's creating a new object every time. Hmm. Also here, If we move the mouse and left down the mouse, you won't get actually a click event off of that. Which is clever too. So a lot of this stuff I like, a lot of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda copy this a little bit. We're going to get rid of that. Let me keep it for now. I'm going to say private var pointer event. 
factor event. And now we're going to cut that, put it in our init pointer event. And now trim that down. Wait, we need our target style. Pointer event. Change this to set pointer event. And take that off. Now that should, should still pass. Let's say we turn. Factoring is fantastic. It's one of my favorite things. Now what we need to do is we need to track the past. We need to track the the house down switch button. So here we need to track the, the right button. Say test should fire right mouse down. What I'll do is a private inline function setup display. So in this case we just do this and we just need to validate that, that works. Ooh, huh. I should keep this. So now we just do set up display. work. Let's see if we just do set up display and that should be it for now. Okay, so now Zero and one, so you do zero. Okay. Now we can do setup display. And we're going to do this one. And we're going to do one mouse down, on pointer down. Okay, so. Down, on pointer right down. So it comes up to fail. There we go. So now we can actually do basically this. I'm going to do switch on the button. Like this, and I'm gonna put that here. Mouse down. Okay. 
enter down. And this is going to be on right down. Look at that, nice and clean. Nice and dry. So let's just do that. Perfect. Now we're going to do should fire right mouse up. Mouse up on pointer right up and gotta fail. I need to do this. This is going to be up. This is going to be up. And there we go. Cover all of those cases. There we go. And now, this will fire over the same target. So now we're going to say set up display. I'm going to say mouse down and then mouse up. This is going to be zero, zero. And pointer click. There we go. So now I'm going to create a RV mouse down pool, which is false. Uh, mouse down. Mouse down equals true. Mouse. is down. <laughs> Button. Okay. And then and when it's up we always have to reset it. And what we're going to do is false. Now we need to validate that no matter what, actually we can do click at this point. In fact, we should probably change this to Something better, let's say current target. It's going to be display mode. Current target. And so here, say current target equals target. And then on mouse up, we always set the target away. No. Now we can say bar previous target to display node is equal to current target. Now we register the find target, do the pointer up and down, not uh, up. And then here we set the current target to null, but that's only after we say if 
previous target is equal to current target. Then we can fire We need to fire, we need to do this. No, we can do um, pointing and put source listener on pointer click. This is going to be pointer event. And that way, so try to get the thing at all. There we go. So, I wonder if this is actually picking up our. Oh, it's still not picking up our test coverage. It's so stupid. Um, well, because it's named the wrong thing. Input. Input. Here we go. So now we need to. This thing is wrong. So. Should not fire. Mouse up. Mouse down and mouse up. If I click when target is null. So we actually need to set up this case. There we go. And on pointer click should not fire. There we go. There's our fail. I should cause it to succeed. There we go. And then we can do this one. Fire right click. One. One. What have I done? Right click. Are you still recording? Are you still live? I think we are. If not, I apologize. Okay, so on pointer right click that should cause it to fail. And now we pass this down to here. I'm going to handle a very similar thing here, and now it's going to be pointer click and then pointer right click. And there we go. Perfect. It's looking very nice. Very nice. And so now this is probably okay. Now so 
here. We're going to do the wheel. Test. Should fire wheel events. Doesn't technically have a target. I guess it could. So we're going to set display. And I say delegate mouse wheel nodes. I think that's all we do on that one. And delta two. And then source the center on scroll. And so this one is actually pretty pretty easy. It's like our mouse move. And set of mouse here we say delta. Roll and that actually doesn't work. Hmm. You can't actually find the target. Doesn't really matter though, because we do have the target, so that should be fine. So we're just going to do this. This so, so we are find target nodes x and y are not here. Hmm, this is okay. Delta and target. That's what we all have with delta. And pointing input source listener on the scroll pointer event. We're almost done. There's our pass, and it's looking pretty good. So now our last thing we need to do is we need to test should dispose. And we're going to get rid of the rest of this. Now, so we're going to do delegate dispose object creator instance pointer event. So that creates so a dispose instance. Um, verify. And then assert is null. And we should probably do public public delegate object creator. It's going to be the kind of target pointer event. And I have one last thing, which is the, the source system. So now, under creator, dispose instance, enter event, under creator equals null, pointing input source listener equals null, pointer event equals null, and target equals null. And that should get us 
probably 95% covered. Dispose instance, pointer of the event. Is positive, not null. I think we're just returning a new pointer event, which we could do PRV pointer event pointer event. No, we could do this. Delegates. That'll do the trick. Still failing. So why is that no? Not, not being called, and it's definitely being called. 189. Hunter trader disposes into pointer event. I don't see how that is possible. Oh. Our pointer events. Pointer events equals delegate. Pointer events. All right, that's it. That's it for the day. We've got this all tested out. It's looking good. So now we just need to actually handle the um, passing of the event around to the listeners. Um, we have. This is 100% covered, so that's looking great. So let's commit this and get status. Get add sources. Get commit finished off mouse input delegates. Get push origin master. Nope. Wrong repo. I just reset the origin someday to that one, but oh well. So it's looking good. So get um, tag. Let's see the date here. Get tag twenty sixteen um, o h twenty two at nine twenty two. Push. Origin. And I did it again. That's it. That's it for today. And put the wrong time, but oh well. Have a great day. Happy coding. See you guys tomorrow.